Hi everyone, welcome to Royal Logos. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, we will design a modern and sleek logo design. So without any further delay, let's continue with the design brief. First of all, we have the logo name, which is Jellish Band. Then about the product details or idea behind the logo name, the client says, we are providing bands for removing body molds. Our bands are elastic, transparent, and are made from jelly-like material. Just like a jellyfish, the main ingredient of our bands is water. That's why it has no harmful or infectious side effects. Our bands are created in a way to avoid skin injuries, infections, and delayed skin scarring. And the color preference is deep sea watercolors, mostly blue shades. Then there are some other details. And about the personal preferences, minimal and recognizable logo, somehow incorporating a jellyfish. Now these are the major points that I extracted from the design brief. By keeping these points in mind, let's continue with the sketching process. After experimenting with different sketches, I have decided to design our logo based on this sketch. So let's continue with the design process in Adobe Illustrator. First of all, go to File, select New. Then select the units to pixels, select the width to 1920, and height to 1080 pixels. Our logo has a very simple geometry. So we will design our logo without using the sketch. First of all, select the ellipse tool, left click, then click on this icon to lock the dimensions of the width and the height, and type the value to 500 pixels. Now it doesn't need the fill, so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and assign it a different boundary color, like this blue color. Then set the value of stroke width to 5 points. Then select the rectangle tool, left click, select the height of rectangle to 70 pixels and select any value for the width, let's say 200 pixels. Then select the selection tool and drag this rectangle at the quadrant point of the circle. Then go to view, select rulers, then select show rulers. And drag a grid from this ruler to this quadrant point again at this bottom edge of the rectangle. Now it doesn't need the rectangle, so simply select it and press delete. Then select the direct selection tool, select the circle, select only this anchor point and press delete. Then select the pen tool and draw a simple line at the left edge of the circle. Click once, again click and press enter to complete the shape. Now we will make 5 different copies of this line. So select the selection tool, hold down the alternate key, again, and finally drag the fifth line at the right edge of the semicircle. Now we want to arrange these lines at equal distance. So select all of these lines, go to windows, select align, then click on this icon which says horizontal distribute center. And to differentiate between the parts, we will simply apply a different color, like this green color. Now again select the ellipse tool, left click, select the width to 500 pixels and select OK. 
select the selection tool and drag this circle at the bottom grid. Also drag this circle towards this line. To differentiate the circle from these lines, simply apply a different color, like this blue color. To make an exact copy of this circle, go to edit and select copy. Again go to edit and select paste in place. And to reduce the size of this circle, hold down the alternate and shift key and reduce the size of the circle up to this line. Then select the direct selection tool, select this anchor point and press delete. Also this one and delete it. Select this circle, select both of these anchor points and also the grid lines and press delete. Also for this one, select this anchor point and press delete. Also it doesn't need these green lines. So simply select all of them and press delete. Select these parts and apply a stroke value to 50 points. Then select the pen tool and extend this shape like this. Simply press enter also for this one and this one. Now we are almost done with our logo design. Select the selection tool, select all of these shapes, go to object, select path and select outline stroke. And to make a copy of this shape, simply hold down the alternate key and drag it like this. Then select the reflect tool, select vertical axis, select the selection tool and drag this copy at this intersection point. Then select all of these shapes, go to pathfinder and select unite. Then go to object, select compound path and select make. And now we will apply colors to our design. So select the gradient tool, then double click on the shape. Simply rotate the gradient at 90 degrees. Before applying the colors, simply go to file and select the document color mode to RGB colors. Then select this color, select this menu and select RGB and write the color code to 2C70 double F. And for this end, again select the RGB colors and select the color code to 06 double B double F. And now it's time to write the name of the logo. Select the type tool, left click, and write the logo name, which is Jellish. Band. Again select the type tool and for the logo name I want to use the font which is halogen black. Then select this character and select the spacing between the alphabets to 50 points. Also for this band simply select halogen medium. Again select this character and increase the spacing between the alphabets to 200 points. To arrange these elements in a straight line, simply select all of these, go to align and select horizontal align center. And now let's check the feasibility of our logo design in dark backgrounds. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from this intersection to this intersection point. Right click, select arrange and select send to back. Now we will apply it a dark blue color. So simply select this color menu and write the color code to triple zero C1E. Then select the logo name and change the color to white. I think that our logo design is working much better in dark backgrounds. Now I want to integrate letter J within this logo. So let's make another copy. Press Z and zoom in this area. 
this part is the subtle representation of letter J. So let's make it a proper one. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from this anchor to this path and rotate it to 90 degrees. Select the selection tool and drag it at this intersection. To make a copy, simply hold down the alternate key and drag it at this intersection. Select this shape, right click and select release compound path. Then select all of these parts, go to pathfinder and select unite. Then again go to object, select compound path and select make. And simply apply the gradient by clicking on this one. And now this logo represents the jellyfish and also the initial letter J. Let's reset the page view by pressing Ctrl plus zero. Let me know in the comment section that which one is your favorite design. Logo design without the letter J or logo design with the letter J. And this is for today's logo design process. If you think that this video helps you in some way, then like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.